Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. It's your 9 a.m. update. And currently, we have U.S. equity futures trading to the downside. Dow equity futures are off 195 points. S&P futures down 25. NASDAQ futures down 82. And the Russell's off 15. Biggest percentage would be the Russell. That's about 8 tenths percent to the downside. Over in Asia last night, it was a sea of red. The Shanghai finishing off 23 points, about 7 tenths, 1.5 percent for the Hang Seng. That's 305 points, a quarter percent for the Nikkei, that's off 83 points. You know, in Europe this morning, the DAX is off 117, seven tenths, seven tenths for the FTSE as well, that's down 53 points. You got gold up seven bucks, silver up two pennies, uh, platinum's up two bucks, palladium's up 11 bucks, copper's off four pennies, lights we crude up a buck 43, natural gas is uh, basically flat out there. Let's take a look at my nine panel market update chart. Let's look at the other one that I've got out here. Uh, the other one being the white background set of charts. So we begin by taking a look at the ES mini upper left hand side. What we see out here is that uh, Monday and Friday's price action, last week Friday, generated or triggered a Rhodes momentum indicator signal. We need a bearish reversal candle today to confirm a Rhodes momentum indicator top. If price closes back below its green oscillator and change line today, that number right now is at 44.72. That signal has moved back to the 43.62, 43.99 level. The NQ, no top out here, but a consolidation with inside its profile levels. 14.845 at the uh, downside, up at the top, you're looking at 15.370. Dow equity future contract, no topping pattern here, but price is back inside its profile. If it does close below its green oscillator and change on at 34.416, we're looking to move to 34.279. If you take a look at high-grade copper out here, high-grade copper is trying to hold support, which is the bottom of its profile, at $3.76. If it doesn't hold that level, you could see it move all the way back to $3.63. Gold forming a TD9 count at Rhodesman and a, uh, a Wave 7 bottom out there. Did that a few trading sessions ago. 1943 to 1956 should be its target. Silver has a Rhodesman to indicator bottom. Price dealing with resistance up at 23.42. Light speed crude consolidated with inside its daily profile. It's sell zone between 73.16, 73.91. Natural gas out here looks bullish. It's a it's consolidated with inside its daily profile and above its green oscillator and change line of consolidation on the 30-year treasury as well. Folks, stay tuned. You got a treat. Jacob Shoop is up next. I'll see you tomorrow on Terrific Thursday. Please have a wonderful Wednesday, folks.